Hi guys, it's Yongxin Hu. Welcome back. It's finally dinner time. Have you watched my breakfast and the lunch videos yet? I taught you guys another two amazing dishes how you can cook aubergines in different ways. I will pop the link above and down below. Make sure you check them out. I think some of you guys already tried salt and pepper chili chips, but have you ever tried salt and pepper chili aubergines? If you have, you knew how delicious is this dish. If you haven't, it's fine, don't worry. I'm gonna teach you guys how to make your homemade salt and pepper chili aubergine tonight. So for this dish, obviously, we need some aubergines. So in this dish, we don't need to peel the aubergine either. So all you need to do is cut the aubergine to big chunks. So here, I'm going to cut my aubergine to half first. Then I'm going to cut each half by the length way. To the quarters. So here we only need one object. So here I'm going to put the object chunks in a bowl. Then, here's the tip, I'm going to add 2 teaspoons of salt. So basically, we are going to use salt to get the water out of the aubergine. Then, when you fry it, it won't go everywhere, it won't explode, and it will soak all you easily and nicely. So, 2 teaspoons of salt. Then we are going to give the object and the salt a good mix. Let's so make sure all the objects has got salt covered all over it. Then I'm going to cover the bowl with some clean film and then leave it on the side for at least 15 minutes, 1-5 minutes. We'll be back in a sec. It has been more than 15 minutes and I'm going to show you guys what's inside of my bowl looks like. So honestly, I haven't opened a bowl for more than 20 minutes, I will say. Can you see all the water here? Maybe this camera will be better angle. So all the water came out of the object. That gives us lots of space and to let the option cook through easily and soak some oil in as well. So now I'm going to try to drain the water. Then we are going to pat dry the option. Then we are going to coat the option with some butter. So I'm going to use the exactly same butter recipe I give you guys at lunch time. If you haven't watched that video, I will link it above. Make sure you check it out. Here I have preheated my deep fryer to 150 degrees. So one, between 150 to 160. So here I have patched all of my options and once again, I know what, what you guys are thinking, the butter looks really thick. We have used exactly the same butter at lunchtime and it worked, so don't worry. Once again, if you haven't watched that video, how to make the butter, make sure to check it out. The link will be above and down below. Right, so here my deep fryer has rigid temperature. I'm going to dip my option in and all over it, literally let's let the butter cover all the options and then I'm just going to pop it in carefully 
and I'm going to quickly do this and frame an object and I will show you guys once the object is done so here as you guys can see when I get a fried object chunks out I put it on my kitchen rolls after about 10-15 seconds and I will transfer them on cooling rack straight away because if you leave the object on the kitchen roll for too long it's gonna start to sweat then the crispy butter gonna be soaked and won't be crispy anymore that's not what we want at all so I just quickly move to the hob now and I'm gonna show you guys so I have some um, chopped garlic, spring onion, pepper and the onion here so we are going to turn on the heat let it work, warm up a little bit then we are going to add in some oil so here will probably be slightly different from normal because normally we turn the heat down to medium here we are going to leave it on high heat because here we are going to fry all the ingredients I show you guys and we don't want any water out of them to be honest so my wok is slightly smoking now so I'm going to pop everything in and stay on high heat, quickly fry them here I think um, the vegetables are okay and I'm going to quickly add in a quarter of a teaspoon of white pepper powder and then we are going to add in a quarter of a teaspoon of chili flake or crushed chili then we are going to turn off the heat put in all the aubergines quickly and we are going to get them quick mix so about like you know 20 seconds and then that's it, we're going to take them out straight away right, now I'm going to take my aubergines out and play them all here is my homemade salt and pepper chili aubergines now it's the most important part try my dinner wow it's so crispy, oh my god let me get a bunch to try Mmm! 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 Wow! Honestly, it's so good. It's way much better than the salt pepper chili chips. The object inside is so soft, so juicy, and outside is so crispy, so crunchy. With the white pepper powder and the crushed chili we put in, just give another layer of flavor. Absolutely amazing, super delicious, guys. Definitely try this recipe, it's so good, so good. Right, before we wrap up, make sure you have liked this video and subscribe to my channel. If you want to know what's going to happen tomorrow, what hero ingredients I'm going to use, tap the notification bell. Right, I'm going to enjoy my dinner. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.